Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will discuss about the rail alarm. Basically, the circuit is very important in the home applications because sometimes rain start outside and uh, we don't came to know that uh, uh, rain is coming outside. And uh, some important things or uh, clothes are wetted due to rain. So, with the help of the circuit, we can prevent from the losses due to rain. So, we can uh, implement the circuit in our home. So first of all, let's see the circuit diagram for the circuit. So this is the circuit diagram for the rain alarm. For implementing rain alarm, we have used two transistors. One is the NPN, another is the PNP transistor. VC548 is a NPN silicon transistor and TL188 is a power transistor. We are using here power transistor because we have to run an uh, audio device here. So we have used uh, one power amplifier. Instead of uh, TL188, we can also use VC369 also here. So for VC548, you can see the data sheet also. So this is the data sheet for VC548. Uh, uh, you can see this is the physical uh, transistor that uh, looks like this. The physical transistor you can see is the same here. So here you can uh, check the terminals actually. Pin number 1 represent collector, pin number 2 represent base, pin number 3 represent emitter. So uh, by using this data sheet you can uh, check the symbol which particular terminal uh, represent which node. So and these are the ratings that can be helpful for you during designing the circuit. So you can see the, here that uh, the collector current IC is 100 uh, milliampere here. These are the maximum rating basically and the collector to base voltage you can see for BC 500 is 30 volt collector to emitter 30 volt here yeah, our power dissipation 625 milliwatt these all are the characteristic for this transistor similarly for uh, I want data sheet for BC 369 that is the PNP medium power transistor so this is the circuit symbol for this here pin number 1 represent uh, base pin number 2 represent uh, collector pin number 3 represent emitter this is the PNP transistor basically so, and it is uh, useful for the switching application and uh, switching and amplification application power applications such as the audio output stress actually we have used here audio output stress so we can use this transistor so actually TL188 and uh, BC369 uh, transistor can be used interchangeably so actually here we have used TL188 okay so uh, I have uh, indicated these terminals in a similar way this is the base collector emitter base emitter collector okay uh, after that uh, we have used one 220 kilo ohm resistor and uh, one 10 kilo ohm resistor and one capacitor having the value of 0 0.01 microfarad one buzzer for indicating the presence of rain and one battery for supplying the power to the circuit and uh, here I have used two wire so and that will be get sorted uh, due to the water droplets when rain comes outside so now let's see uh, the working how it will work initially I have connected battery here but rain is not uh, happening outside then this terminal is open so uh, no current will go after this point anywhere so this portion is separate you can see no current is available here so this transistor will be off and this transistor will be off due to this this transistor will also off because uh, this is the BJT and BJT is a current control device base current controls the collector current so here the base current is zero then the collector current will also zero because this collector current is the base current for this transistor so the base current is zero here then the collector current will also zero for this transistor so due to uh, this uh, this buzzer will not beep and uh, this branch also not uh, have any role in this case so you can understand in the first case when rain is not happening outside in that case this beep not uh, will not beep this buzzer will not beep in second case if rain start occurring outside then what will happen these two wires will be connected with the help of you can say with the help of droplets water droplets because uh, water of the conductivity they are ion present so that allow the flow of current so these two wires uh, will behave as short circuit so now the current will reach here this current will reach 
on the base of this transistor. So this transistor will start working. The co collector current is start flowing here, and uh, if the collector current is starting uh, flowing here, then the base current will also available here. Due to that, this transistor will also on, and the current is start flowing here. Okay, and the buzzer start beeping. Buzzer start beeping in this case. Now let's see the uh, function of this capacitor. What is the function of this capacitor? When the current uh, reach here, in a starting, this capacitor gets charged, and because current is entering from here, the positive polarity is here, negative here, and this capacitor once charged, it will not uh, further allow the flow of current across it. Now it will act as a battery. When water droplets get finished here or uh, rain stop, in that case, the circuit and the beep will not uh, stop instantly because uh, as the connection remove here, because this capacitor is behaving like battery, voltage will be available due to this capacitor. So this will turn on this transistor and due to that this transistor will turn on and the beep will continue beeping. But this will not happening um, uh, for much time because uh, uh, its value will be very less. It will provide the continuity to the beeping. This beep will not uh, just uh, um, stop. If the rain is stop, the beep will stop. It will not occur actually due to this capacitor. This buzzer will beep like P. If this capacitor is not present, in that case, this will beep like P, P, P. So for providing the continuity, we have used this capacitor. Okay, so I think you understand the working of this uh, circuit easily. Now let's see the demonstration for the circuit. This is the implemented circuit. We have implemented all the components on the PC board. And uh, you can watch the video of this uh, implementation and the soldering that is available on the website. Now let's see how it works. So I am connecting here 9 volt battery. When I connected this, Buzzer is not beeping, but as I dip this in water, it will start beeping. If I remove here, it will stop beeping and as I like this. Okay, so I think work is clear. Working is clear. If I put it on surface, you can also see here. If I put it surface, you can see. Yeah, also because uh, some water drops are uh, put here so that is creating short circuit and uh, beep is beeping buzzer is beeping okay so i think it's working is clear you can uh, explain the rain alarm how it works and if you understand the working of this circuit you can like this video you can share this video to your friends thank you